Do not operate this machine until you read and fully understand all the dangers, warnings, and cautions in the manual before continuing. This video is for instructional assistance purposes only. Safety goggles should be worn at all times. Avoid wearing loose clothing or jewelry. Always wear proper protective clothing such as gloves and steel-toed shoes. Before performing the self-calibration procedure, make sure the balancer is bolted down and or rigid to the floor and that the shaft and centering cones are clean and undamaged. Even the slightest dirt or damage can cause inaccurate readings. Pay close attention to the following procedure. If not followed correctly, the balancer will not perform properly. This balancer should be recalibrated every 30 days. First, turn on the power. Select a centering or mounting cone that best fits the center hole of the wheel. Note, a standard 14 inch steel wheel is recommended for this procedure. Lift the wheel onto the arbor and slide it back against the arbor hub. Slide the cone over the arbor and into the center hole of the wheel. While holding the wheel and cone in position, thread the hub nut over the arbor and secure tightly. Enter the correct wheel data. For instructions, refer to page 12 in the DST-1000 manual. After the wheel data has been entered, press the FUN or function button to read DY or dynamic setting. Once in the dynamic setting, press the cal button and hold, then press the start button. Hold both the cal button and the start button simultaneously for 6 seconds. The display screen will flash momentarily, then display cal cal. Press the start button. The wheel will spin for approximately 6 seconds, then stop. Add 100 will be displayed. Note, if the balancer is requiring more weight to be added, you're not in the calibration mode. Repeat last step. Place one 100 gram weight included with the balancer on the outside edge of the wheel directly opposite the valve stem. Press the start button once again. The wheel will spin for approximately six seconds and then stop. End cal will be displayed and the self-calibration procedure is now complete.